This is what I get out of that song. That wasn't too bad for him. How loving and patient he must be. He's still working on me. How many believes that we that, that the greatest is yet in front of us? Come on. We, we, we've been through some battles. We've, we've been through some storms. But I'm here to tell you folks the glory of God. It's just like I feel it. When the Ark of the Covenant come back into the camp, when David was finally, they didn't handle it right. The, when they tried to get it back the first time, they ignored some things that they had been instructed by the Word of God. If we don't get this right, right. listen, if we don't get this right, we're not going to see the glory. Right. Someone will. Yes. Come on, someone will. But if we don't get this right, we won't. I want to see the glory of God. How about you? Hallelujah. When the glory of God fills the house, Salvation fills the house. Sanctification fills the house. The baptism of the Holy Ghost fills the house. Healing fills the house. We need His glory in the house more than we've ever needed it before. Come on, we, we need more glory than we've ever seen before. We've seen some, thank God, we've seen the Shekinah glory. Come on. We, we've seen waves of the Holy Ghost. We've and, and, and you know, listen, here's something we need to understand too. <laughs> if we're going to have the genuine article, I've never, I've never seen us get into a real powerful move of God without having to get through a little wildfire first. <laughs> I don't know about you, but the power of God doesn't scare me, but wildfire does. Amen. Yeah. Makes me uneasy. But we can't stop because of a little wildfire. We've got to push on through. Yeah. As the glory fills the house, it puts out wildfire. Amen. Come on, it'll suffocate. It, it'll put it out. We can't stop. Listen, you don't have to just, well, if we've got a little wildfire, we might as well stop. No, let's, let's press on. Come on, let's push through to His glory. How many need to heal? Come on. You need a healing or you know someone needs a healing. There's too much sickness in the church, folks. Come on. There's too much sickness in the church. We need healing. How many know someone needs to be saved? I'm talking about someone coming to church needs to be saved. How many know someone coming to church needs to be sanctified? Brother Smith asked us uh, that, that this ought to be a year of the Holy Ghost. Thank God. We've had uh, several get the Holy Ghost in, in the Virginia, West Virginia region. I praise the Lord for that. I thank God for every, every one that I hear and read yeah. when I get to youth camp reports and they say so, such and such received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because with the Holy Ghost comes power. Right. Amen. Isn't that what the Lord said? Power. Holy Ghost power. Dunamis right. power. We're expecting more of that power to come. Amen. We're expecting more of that to come. Would you stand with me tonight? How far can you see? Church and 
Six o'clock is when you start. And six o'clock come and nobody was there. 6.05 come, nobody was there. 6.10 come, nobody was there. My heart fainted inside me. Started to. Then all of a sudden I just determined I, I, I will not let this beat me. I said, I'm going to preach anyway. I'm not talking about a 10 member church. At that time, we probably had 60-some members. <laughs> now, now you're mercy wise, little shook. <laughs> 630 come. Nobody's there. I was tore all the pieces. And then finally, but I made up my mind, Lord, I'm just going to trust you. Here come in a couple through the back door. And said, we know y'all probably wondering why no one's here. I thought they just went on a strike. If, they, if I hadn't got the message then, I figured probably I'd get it by now. <laughs> There's been a bad accident. Can't nobody get in. <laughs> the road's blocked. <laughs> and we had to go. We, we was able, my husband, knew another way. But everybody else was sitting down here at the end of the road and they can't get in. My heart was relieved. We got to go back to our fields of labor. And not look at what we necessarily have or don't have, but see the possibility. Yeah. Amen. Come on. See the possibility. Understand that God said, listen, the Gentiles are coming. The, the wealth is coming. And, and, and other sheep are coming. And, and then the fields are wide. Come on. We Listen, one of the things that maybe we're not doing like we need to is getting back out in the field and, and working among the lost and, and sharing the gospel again. Listen, that's what Jesus called the church to do. To go into all the world and preach the gospel. I don't know if Christopher Columbus, surely somebody would have risen up Surely somebody else would have stood up and said, well, if you're not going to do it, Christopher, I'm going. Because there's bound to be more than this. I want to challenge us tonight. I want to challenge everyone that believes the Word and believes there's more than this. Come on. I'm not preaching a discouraging message. I'm pre Listen, there's more. Yeah. There's more than this. There's more than there's more than we've tasted. There's more than we've ever seen and ever experienced before. But it's going to take commitment. It's going to take coming into the presence of the Lord and saying, Now, God, whatever you need to do in me, through me, and for me, let it be done, God, because I want to be a part of your glory. I want to be a part of this last day's ministry. Yeah. Who's going to come? Who will come? Who will come and say, I'm going to be one. Lord, use me. The altar's open. Come on, who will come and say, here am I, Lord. Here am I. Use me. The, I, I, I'm surrendering all of myself to you. I'm giving you more than, than I've ever given before. Amen. Praise God. I say, let's come. As many as will, let's come and let's bow in His presence here tonight. And let's pour our hearts out to Him. There's more beyond. Come on. There's more beyond. There's more that God wants to reveal. There's more that God wants to do if we'll just surrender to His perfect and divine will. Let's pray. Come on. Let's seek the face of God. Let's pour out our souls and our hearts to Him and allow Him to minister back to us.